Question number three from exercise 2c. Find the square roots of each of the following numbers. So we have to find the square root of these values. So in part a we have 81. So square root of 81 equals to we have to factorize 81. 81 can be divided with the table of 3. 3 times 2 is 6. 8 minus 6 will be 2. So it will become 21. And 3 7s are 21. Then 3 9s are 27. And then 3 3s are 9. And then 3 1s are 3. So 81 can be written as 3 times 3 times 3 times 3. Which can again be written as 3 to the power 2 times square root of 3 to the power 2. We are going to write this two threes as three raised to the power two and these two threes again is three raised to the power two so that each of them can cancel out their square roots and we will be left with three times three which equals to nine and nine is our answer for the square root of 81 and in part b we have 16 so we have to find the square root of 16 for 16 we have to factorize 16 so two eights are 16 and two fours are eight then two twos are four 2 1s are 2. So 16 can be written as square root of 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 and which can again be written as square root of 2 to the power 2 times square root of 2 to the power 2 because we can write these two as 2 raised to the power 2 and we can write square root on each of them separately and then we can cancel out the square root with the squares and we will be left with 2 times 2 and the answer will be 4. So square root of 16 equals to 4. And then in part C we have 25. So we have to find the square root of 25. 25 can be written as 5 times 5. And we can write 5 times 5 as 5 raised to the power 2. And then the square will be cancelled out with the square root and we will be left with 5. So 5 is the answer for square root of 20. And then in part D we have 100. So we have to find the square root of 100. We can simply factorize 100. So 100 can be divided by 2. 2 5s are 10 and 2 zeros are 0. And then 2 2s are 4. 5 minus 4 will be 1. 1 will be given to the 0 which will become 10. So 2 5s are 10. And then 5 5s are 25. And 5 1s are 5. So the square root of 100 can be written as 2 times 2 times 5 times 5 and which can again be written as square root of 2 raised to the power 2 times square root of 5 raised to the power 2 and then the square will be cancelled out with the square roots and we will be left with 2 times 5 which equals to 10. So a square root of 100 equals to 10 which is our answer for part D. And if you are new to our channel please subscribe the channel, like the video and share the video. Mm -hmm.